like it. So, what do we think? This rocks. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Art is about taking risks. L listen, guys, this is a good start, okay? But now it's your turn. I want you to figure out what moves you, okay? What, what makes you angry, what, what turns you on. And then I want you to make some art. Now, since the school board doesn't see fit to provide you with art supplies, Winslow will be your canvas. Well, but how big should it be, and what supplies are we using? I, I don't think I understand this assignment. Gretchen, Gretchen, loosen up, will you? Don't think so much. You know, it's really pretty weird the way you just sit here in your truck staring at the school and muttering to yourself. I'm having alone time. <laughs> I'm almost done. You want to come in? No. So, you coming back next week? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Good. It would have been so much cooler if you didn't turn around. <laughs> Mr. Patterson. I told Grace I wouldn't let you in and I'm not going to. Go home, Jeffrey. Mr. Patterson, your PSA level doesn't necessarily mean cancer. Go home. If you tell me what you're afraid of, I think I can help you. Or if you'd rather, I know an excellent urologist. Your PSA level only indicates the possibility of an abnormality in the prostate. But without the rectal exam, you'll never know for sure. I guess we'll never know. But even if there is an abnormality in the gland, given your PSA, the chances it's metastasized are highly unlikely. But regardless, it means surgery. If it's abnormal and a biopsy shows a tumor, then most likely, yes, you will need surgery. Are, are you afraid of impotence? Did you keep the damn voice down? Again, given your PSA and the likelihood that any tumor would be contained, your post-surgical potency statistics are above 80%. Leaving 20% out in the cold. I don't think so, doctor. Mr. Patterson, you've gone from a high PSA to impotence without even having the rectal exam. Don't you think you're getting a little ahead of yourself here? Well, I won't have surgery, so there's no reason to have the exam. Would you rather know what's going on than spend your life worrying? If I won't have the surgery, what's the difference? <laughs> You have a wife and daughter who are worried to tears. Look, my family is my concern. And you show it by sticking your head in the sand? That doesn't show concern to me. Don't you disrespect now, me. I'm telling it like it is. Your family loves you, all right? I wouldn't be here if they didn't. But if you're too much of a coward to face the truth, then, then Mr. Patterson, I wouldn't worry too much about any surgery making you impotent because you already are. You OK? That was a miracle, Jeffrey. Still can't get past the irony that he trusts me with his health and not with his daughter. Well, maybe that'll change. Oh, yeah, maybe this broke the ice. I know it did. This was huge. You've got a lot of guts, Jeffrey. Yeah, well, I do when I'm motivated. Say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. Another hole in one. To say we're happy is an understatement. Congratulations, Benny. Now, you are keeping this between us and your little pony, right? Yeah. Good. Very good. Because we wouldn't want too many hands in the cookie jar. So when do we want to do it again? We need to find a good game. Benny, you don't stop when you get it down to our panties, do you? You go for the pink, right? Find another game. Let's keep this home going. All right. <laughs> That's right. You know, Joseph, uh, the panties and the pink. Sorry. What are you doing here? You're asking me? Where are your friends? They're at Claude's party, waiting for you. Party? Yeah, you know, that, that winter thing. Oh, my God, they're in great danger. Get the key. Wait, wait, what kind of danger? Just leave it to me, OK? No way, if there's a problem, I'm coming with you. It's much too dangerous, believe me. 
Okay, now, hold on a second, high pants. There's no way that I'm gonna... Ah! getting to play enough. So you think we're gonna have a better chance to get inside if you get more solos? It's already about you. You know, you get the spotlight the whole show. This is supposed to be a band, right? I mean, look, all we're asking for is for a few crumbs off your table. What are you fucking talking about? It's about the songs, man! Well, fine, then consider some of my we songs. We will the songs. We will? We will, that's only fair. I already have, they're not good enough! Well, fuck you, man! Hey, man, let me handle the band, it's my job! Forget about me! Don't get around like that. That's not funny. We're all gonna feel better about I this need tomorrow. To, like, uh, interrupt the argumentation. We got a little tragic scene going, and we need to like energize the solution. You know, it's the clarity of your expression that I've always admired in you. <laughs> 